Hi guys, part two here. We're gonna add some texture to our floor. Uh, so let's get started. So open up our floor material and we want to go to our color channel. We're gonna create a surface shader and it's gonna be a marble surface shader. Click on that. And as we can see, it's brightening up our ring. So we want to darken the, we want to darken the colors of our marble surface shader. So click in there. Let's darken this up here. The first knot will bring it there nice and dark and we'll brighten the second knot up just a little bit. Let's see what we got. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to go to our color channel and I want to copy this shader into our bump channel. So tick that on and let's paste our shader in. And nothing seems to be changing right now. Let's go into our reflectance and add a Beckman. And we're going to bring the brightness right down to about 35%. Let's see what we got. Keep in mind that this is going to take a long time to render. I fast forward this video so that you don't have to watch it. Um, as you can see, it took about 1 minute 48. This is the interactive render region, so it might be a bit quicker once you're actually rendering it out. But um, this is looking pretty good. Uh, I think I'm happy enough with that. I might go to the bump and maybe increase the strength to 30% and we'll see what that gives us. Let's turn off our interactive render region and we'll do a render, a quick render on this and see what it looks like. It's not gonna be very quick, but already it's looking better. So I'm gonna fast forward the video here and uh, we're gonna see what we get. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Um, that concludes part two of this tutorial. I will see you in part three where we are going to animate this way.